are going to discuss about adding fraction. Okay. First, we are going to discuss about like fractions. Okay. How to add like fractions? You know what is like fractions, right? Like fractions means what? The denominators are equal means there is like fraction, right? See the example first. <coughs> Three by seven plus two by seven. Now these two fractions are like fractions, isn't it? So how to add these two number? And denominator is same, right? How to write the denominator as it is? Then add the numerator value. Three plus two. Three plus two. Then three plus two. How much? Five. So five by seven, right? See the next example. This is the first one. The second example. Eight by eleven plus two by eleven. Eight by eleven plus two by eleven. Now these two fractions are like fractions, isn't it? Yes. I to write the denominator as it is. The numerator only I will add. Right? So eight plus two. Eight plus two. How much? Ten. Ten by eleven. So if we add these two fractions, what we will get? We will get ten by eleven. Understand? The third example, five by thirty plus eight by thirty. Add these two fraction. So here thirty will come, right? Thirty. Then we have to add the two values, numerator value. Five plus eight. Five plus eight is how much? Thirteen, isn't it? Thirteen by thirteen. Thirteen divided by thirteen. So what it will come? One. Thirteen. If you are divide same number means can get the answer. The quotient is what? One only. Right? Yes. So this is like fractions. Right? Next we are going to discuss about unlike fraction. How to add unlike fractions? Okay. See the first example. Add two by three plus five by six. See the denominator here. Denominators are different, isn't it? So if the denominator is different, unlike fractions means how to add. First we have to make it the denominator equal, right? So three plus six. We have to find the LCM first. So LCM means lowest common multiple, right? Yes. The multiple is three, six, nine, twelve. Isn't it? Then six multiple is six. Then twelve. Then eighteen. So common multiple is six and twelve, isn't it? Six twelve. But we want to take the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple means LCM, right? That is lowest common multiple is what? Six, right? So t two by three plus five by six. So here the LCM value is six, isn't it? So make it the LCM. Sorry, denominator value is six. So three here, how many times six? It will become two times, isn't it? So three two times means here also you have to multiply by two. Then here six how many times? Only one time, isn't it? One time. Here also we have to multiply by one. Now two times two so how much? Four divided by three times two so six plus here five times two so five divided by six times one is six. Now see here denominators are equal. Now we can add these two fraction, isn't it? Yes. Now the denominator is equal, right? So six is comma. Now four plus five. Numerator value four plus five. Four plus five is how much? Nine. Nine by six. Nine divided by six. This is proper or improper fraction? This is improper fraction, right? This improper fraction means we can make it in the mixed fraction. How we can make it in the mixed fraction? Nine divided by six. One times six is six only. Is it? So that nine minus six is how much? Three. So what is the improper value? One. Question first we have to write it. Then the remainder value three divided by six. This is the mixed fraction. Right. First, what we have to do? We have to find the LCM in the denominator value. Okay. Denominator is three six. Three multiples you know. Then six multiples also you know. So find out the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple is six. Then we have to make it the denominator six. Three how many times six? Two times. So if you 
multiply by multiply denominator two means numerator also we want to multiply by two, isn't it? Then here already six is there. So how many times only one time? Numerator also multiply by one. So three two times two is four. Here three times two is six. Five times one is five. Six times one is six. Here now we are adding numerator values. Four plus five divided by six equal to four plus five how much? Nine. Nine divided by six equal to actually this is improper fraction, isn't it? Then you have to convert it to mixed fraction. Mixed fraction you know how to convert. We have to divide that value. Nine divided by six. Nine divided by six. Six how many times? Only one time. One time six is six. Nine minus six is how much? Three, isn't it? So now how we can write the mixed fraction? First we have to write the quotient value. Next in the numerator, remainder value will come. Then denominator, divisor will come. Right? So one three by six. Do you understand now? Yes. See the second example. Add five by eight plus two by ten. So first one we want to find. We want to find the LCM, isn't it? We can use that short division LCM short division method. We can use okay. Know how to find the LCM using the short division, right? How we can find a ten ten a ten short division method. First which table? Second table. How many times? Four times here. Yeah? Five times. Again second table two times. But here we cannot. So we have to write the number as it is. Again second table. One time here five only. Then fifth table one time here one fifth table one time. So just multiply these numbers. Two into two how much? Four. Four times two is eight. Eight times five is how much? Forty. Right? Eight times five is forty. So LCM is LCM equal to forty. Lowest common multiple. Understand? You have to multiply these numbers. You know how to find the LCM using the short division method. Okay. Now, five divided by eight plus two by ten. So here denominator we want to make it forty, isn't it? So eight how many times forty? Eight times five, sir. Right? So numerator also multiplied by five. Then. Here ten how many times forty four times isn't it? Then here also multiply four. Now five five is how much? Twenty five. Here eight times five is forty. Plus two times four is eight. Then ten times four is forty. Now you check these two denominators are equal, isn't it? Now we can add these two fractions, isn't it? Like fractions. So here now. Forty is common number. Numerator value twenty five plus eight. Twenty five plus eight how much? Thirty three, right? Thirty three, thirty three divided by forty. If we add five by eight plus two by ten, what do we get? We get thirty three divided by forty. This is proper or improper fraction? This is proper fraction, right? See the next example. Five by nine plus four by fifteen. First, what we have to do? We have to find the LCM of nine and fifteen. Find it nine fifteen. Which table we can use? Second table is possible. No, we cannot use. Is it? Then third table is possible, right? Third table we can use. How many times? Three times three is nine. Here, yeah? five times three is fifteen. Is it? Next again third table one time here not possible five. Next fifth table one one. So multiply these three numbers. Three times three is how much? Nine. Is it it? Nine times three is nine times five is forty five. Is it it? Nine times three is forty five. So LCM is equal to forty five. Then. Fraction value five by nine plus four by fifteen. What we have to do? Make the denominator forty-five. Nine how many times forty-five? Five times, isn't it? Nine times five is forty-five. So here also multiply by five. Then 
15 how many times? 1 times 15 is 15. 2 times 30 will come then 3 times 45 will come, right? So here you have to multiply by 3. Here also 3. Understand? Yes. Now 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 45 plus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 45. Now these two fractions are like fraction, isn't it? Yes. 25 plus 12 divided by what? 45. Add these two value 25 by plus 12. 25, 12. 5 plus 2, 7. 2 plus 1, 3. 37. 37 divided by 45. It's the answer. Now do you understand? Next adding mixed fractions. Okay, next adding mixed fractions. So this is the mixed number, right? So first we have to make it the improper fraction. Okay, improper fraction. 4, 5 by 6. 4, 5, 5 by 6. How we can? 4, 5 by 6. Make it the proper fraction. What we have to do? We have to multiply first these two numbers, right? 6 times 4 is 24, isn't it? 6 times 4 is 24 plus 5 divided by 6. So 24 plus 5, how much? 29. 29 divided by 6. Then 7, 3 by 8. 8 times 7 is how much? 56, isn't it? 56 plus 3 divided by 8. 56 plus 3, how much do we got? 59. 59 divided by 8. Now, you can add these two fractions. 29 by 6 plus 59 divided by 8. See, the denominators are different. So, what we have to do? We want to take that LCM first. 6 and 8 LCM. 6, 8. Second every 3 time. 4 time. Here second every 3 time. Sorry, 3 as this, then 2 time. Again second every 3, 1 time. Again third table, 1, 1. Right? Then multiply these numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is how much? 24, isn't it? So, LCM is how much? 24. LCM equal to 24. LCM equal to how much? 24. 29 divided by 6 plus 59 divided by 8. So, now we get 24, right? 6 how many times? 6 times 4 is 24, right? Here, here also multiply by 4. Here 8, how many times 24? 3 times. So here also multiply by 3. Now 29 into 4, how much do will come? Just multiply. Then here denominator 29 into 4. 9 times 4 is 36, isn't it? So 3. Then 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So 116. 116 divided by 24. Plus 59 into 3. 59 into 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 2. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 2, 17. So 177. 177 divided by 24. Now denominator is equal. So these two fractions are like fractions. Isn't it? So add these two value. 116 plus 177 divided by 24. 116 plus 177. 6, 6 plus 7 how much do we come? 13. 13. 1 carry over. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Then 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2. 293. 293 divided by 24. So if it is possible, we can reduce. Otherwise, we have to make it this number 
into mixed fraction. Okay. So, it will be converted to mixed fraction. First, what we have to do? Fraction into improper fraction. Okay. So, after that, the second one also make it into, into the improper fraction. So, next, you have to add these two fractions. We are getting 29 by 6. We are 59 by 8. 29 by 6 plus 59 by 8. Here, denominators are different. So, next, what we have to do? We have to take the LCM of 6 and 8. 6 and 8, the LCM is 24. Then, we have to make the denominator equal. Right? Denominator, we have to make it 24. 6, how many times 24? 4 times. Multiply by, you have to multiply in the numerator also. Then, here, 8, 24, how many times? 3 times. So, numerator also multiply by 3. 29 into 4, we will get 116. Divided by 6 times 4, so 24. Plus, 59 into 3, 177. 8 into 3, 24. Next, you have to add now, these two fractions are like fraction. Now, you have to add the numerator only. If you add numerator, 116 plus 177 equal to 293. 293 divided by 24. So, the value 293 divided by 24. This is improper fraction, isn't it? Now, this improper fraction, we have to make it the mixed number. Right? Do you understand now? you understand that adding like fractions and unlike fractions. Now your homework is page number 76. Do it now. One, two questions are there. Then page number 77 also. Do it now. Two questions are there. Then page number 78. There also do it now. Three questions. Two questions are there. Please try to complete that six questions. Okay. 76, 77, 78. Three pages. Do it now. Six questions are there. Please try to complete it. If you have any doubt, please contact me. Okay, children? Okay. Thank you.